A report released by the public inquiry looking into the April 2020 killing spree details the alleged extreme childhood abuse and neglect experienced by Gabriel Wartman. The report is based on police interviews with the gunman's family, friends and acquaintances and details a legacy of alleged violence in the Wartman family going back at least four generations. Two of the gunman's uncles told police their father would beat their mother. They've also said they were beaten by their father and that the abuse continued with Paul Wartman, the gunman's father. Though in an interview with police, Paul says he never physically abused his son. But multiple people told police that the gunman's father forced his son to commit violence as a child. An uncle telling police the gunman's father didn't think his son was taking good enough care of his dog, so he allegedly made his son shoot the animal. The report looking into the gunman's family history of violence was completed as part of the inquiry's mandate to examine the role of gender-based and intimate partner violence in the killing spree. Experts say understanding the history of abuse does not excuse the gunman's crimes, but can be a way to prevent similar tragedies in the future. The report, however, is based only on police interviews. The commission itself has not spoken to any members of the Warman family. If you don't have these interviews, and allow others to do the interviews, you're gonna miss a lot of information. Families are traumatized as it is, and when we're told that we're not gonna get any other information, or this isn't gonna happen, or this is the only way it's gonna happen, you know, that that's sort of like kicking sand in somebody's face. The commission's report notes that the commission's attempt to speak to some members of the Wartman family were not successful. This despite the commission having the power to compel witnesses to testify, a key reason families of the victims pushed for an inquiry rather than a review.